No, you're okay. That's fine. So we're a minute away from starting. Can um, I just confirm who is there in Tamaru? Sorry, can't see you. Would you like me to go around the table for you, Your Worship? Yeah, Ash, if you could, just before um, we kick off, just so I know we've got, right, we've got Councillor Burt, Councillor Piddington, Councillor Parker. Oh, perfect. And we have the media, we have the Chief Executive, uh, we have Group managers Paul and Andrew and Ashley, and we've got Mark Lowe. And Simon as well. Oh, sorry, obscured. Uh, we've got group manager Simon as well. And other stuff. And, other and, and in the back, we stuff. have um, and media people uh, and, and, and Fabia in the call. Okay, brilliant. Oh, well, it's just uh, turned 2 30 by uh, my account, so we'll get started. Um, uh, Welcome everyone uh, and welcome John. Uh, can you hear me okay? Yes, thanks, uh, Nigel. Great to have you with us, thank you. Um, so we'll just go straight into uh, apologies. So I've got Councillor uh, Oliver, Councillor Booth and Seda, oh, and Councillor O'Reilly. Uh, I'll move those apologies. Got Councillor, uh, oh, a bit of fight up here in Wellington. Um, uh, Councillor Wills is the seconder. Uh, all those in favour, please say aye. Aye. Against carried. Thank you. So um, now we'll move to uh, Mark Lowe um, just to give us a bit of an overview. Thanks, Mark. Uh, just your worship, any conflicts of interest? Anybody wishes oh, to? Yeah. Yeah, sorry, I must. Uh, yeah, any conflicts? Thank you. Um, Beep. No. None noted. Thank you. Um, pass over to Mark. Thanks. Thank you, Your Worship. Um, so obviously we are at the conclusion of a process that started about two years ago. So um, it's really important to acknowledge uh, what's happened to get here in terms of all the work that's gone on, the considerable uh, community input that's gone into this process, hearing from our community about what they want, um, as well as the input from staff, elected members and, and um, stakeholders to, to create a plan um, going forward and set a new direction. So um, obviously, We've had a few hiccups to get to where we are currently, but i um, pleased to acknowledge that we have got clearance on the order of opinion uh, today. Uh, so since the 29th of June, we've had ongoing discussions with audit to um, address the, the issues that they've raised. Um, and that's ultimately been around uh, reflecting the 90% the CapEx delivery assumption uh, through the document and um, Bede and, and John no doubt will give some further guidance on that. Um, but pleased to uh, present this to you for adoption. Great, thanks, Mark. Um, so we might uh, now go to uh, John, if that's okay, just um, to give us a bit of an update from an audit point of view. Right. Um, so in, in terms of what we were looking at at the um, final audit stage, because we, you, you went through the consultation document process, we issued a clear opinion on that, but with a couple of emphasis, with uh, an emphasis of matter paragraph regarding the three water reforms. So what we were looking at with at the final was the changes that you may agreed to make after consultation with your community. And we looked at two events that um, came up that created additional work for both uh, the council and for the audit team, one was Waka Kotahi signalling um, significant reduction in um, investment funding and transport, and uh, so which then required reworking of the, the long-term plan and the May 2021 floods. So that had, we had to look at um, whether your capital expenditure program was still doable with the work that you needed to do to address the flooding that the revenue from Waka Kotahi that you will receive to do for flood damage was correctly reflected and that um, there didn't need to be any change in levels of service. So we're comfortable as to how you've disclosed that because you're still waiting for estimates. And um, the mayor has signed a letter of representation on your behalf, well, he will be signing a letter of representation on your behalf, which has got a representation in there 
on the May 2021, 2021 flooding, that there's nothing that you're aware of at this point that is different, that you haven't received any further significant additional information that wasn't, uh, that, that didn't underline the estimate, the estimate, the process that you followed in um, preparing the LTP. So, but we're comfortable with that you, you you weren't in a position at 30th of June or when you were finalising the LTP to know what the final details were. All right. Okay. Um, so in terms of the audit opinion, um, if the council adopts the balanced budget resolution and adopts the long-term plan, then I, I propose that I will enter... Um, sign an unmodified opinion, which means that we're satisfied that the long-term plan provides a reasonable basis for long-term integrated decision-making in coordination of the council's resources and accountability of the council to its community, and that the information and assumptions underlying the forecast information in the long-term plan are reasonable, and that you've um, complied with the Prudential requirements with the graphs and um, yeah. so that, that's the opinion. But without modifying the opinion, we've got an updated emphasis of matter paragraph drawing attention to the readers of the uncertainties created by the three waters reform. That wording is changed to reflect that government made announce and a significant announcement in between the CD stage and you adopting the LTP. But that's reflected in your assumptions and reflected in the in, in, in the proposed opinion, um, and it does also note in the emphasis of matter paragraph that um, you've missed your statutory deadline for adoption of the um, long-term plan. So that, that's what I wanted to highlight to the, the councillors. So I'm happy, happy to take any questions. Brilliant. Thank you, uh, John. Now any uh... Any questions at all, team? Uh, I will struggle to see you, so we might just have to speak up. Yeah, uh, Count yeah, Councillor Pittington, thank you. Yeah, John, could you explain why we've got the um, breach of statutory deadline? Because uh, I understand you were happy and changed your mind late, so it seems a bit unfair that the council wears it, having been told right up to the point that we're okay. So... It, when we were getting close, I thought that there wasn't a, 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 an issue. Um, the, there was an issue is that you will notice in the um, long-term plan that you you was circulated today that it has a corporate activities group of activity in it, a funding impact statement in. So that wasn't in the draft that we were looking at. And that has gone through some refinement, which has re resulted in uh, further changes into the other groups of activity funding impact statements. Why wasn't that picked up earlier, John? Well, when we did the, at, at the, the consultation document stage is we were looking, when we compared the total of the capital spending and rates and the, all of the group of activity statements which were in the workbook, then they agreed to the financial statements. And we reconciled the totals there to the whole of council funding impact statement. So it was when we actually looked at the detail and saw that there was one um, that wasn't there, that uh, the, the, the corporate activity one wasn't there, that that raised a number of issues. So. So is that the council's timing or your timing? Can you clarify that question, please? Well, we were running close to the wind. Why wasn't it picked up earlier on your behalf or were we late getting it? I'm trying to see how we end up with the emphasis of a matter when we all had a council meeting two days before that we thought it was going through. Right. So it came, we identified the issue through in our final analytical review procedure. Sorry, question, do you think that's satisfactory from your perspective on the timing, 
now that we have an emphasis, you know. Uh, I'm signing on behalf of the Auditor General, the um, other councils who have not met the statutory deadline is that there was an opinion review committee process followed at the uh, Office of the Auditor General that deemed that um, it was appropriate for councils that did not achieve a statutory deadline to have the emphasis of matter. I guess it's a good sidestep from you, but I, I still struggle with the fact we contract you and we end up in this mess. That's right. Thanks, uh, Councillor Pennington. We might, uh, is there any other further questions for John? And sorry, Joe, can you just please note, we've just uh, clicked that uh, Councillor Wills is on an earlier flight and we were keen to leave him in Wellington, uh, but in the uh, good interest of uh, him attending conference, uh, we've let him go, but we still do have a quorum, so that's uh, fine. Uh, so what we might do now is go back, uh, is there anything else uh, either Bede or Mark to work uh, through? We can go back to the agenda. Uh, yeah. Uh, Your Worship, I just uh, like to recognise the, the, the work that people have done to get here, and your recommendations are, as in the agenda, one to eight, and they've got to be taken specifically you know, in that order, because there is process, and the auditor yes. is watching to make sure we get the process in exactly the right order, uh, so that we can you know, actually sign it all off uh, exactly correctly. Yeah, that's right. So you're suggesting that we go through them one point by point and then get, go to 3.2, which is the rate uh, setting of the rate. Is that correct? Yep. 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 Okay, yep. cool. Um, so we'll um, just go to any questions in regard to the first report, um, one through eight. Is there anything uh, that anyone wants to ask in regard to that before we work through the um, individual resolutions? No, it seemed okay. My only question was uh, into the Clement Water Treatment Upgrade. Um, that's not the membrane filtration, that's the later upgrade, isn't it? So it's just a movement from one year to the next. Yes, yes that's right. Yep, yeah, perfect. Thank you. Um, so what we will do now, so I'll happy to move. Uh, Resolution or recommendation one, uh, and we've got a second it. Councillor Gilchrist is a second it. Um, just for uh, because it's hard for us to see, can you, if there's um, someone that votes against, can you just uh, note that someone picked that up, um, perhaps Joe or um, someone uh, via voice so I can see that. Um, so we've got a second it being Councillor Gilchrist. All those in favour, please say aye. Aye. Against, carried. Uh, move now to two, uh, Councillor Lyon uh, is recommending that. Uh, and I've got Councillor Parker, thank you. Uh, good wave, caught that. Uh, all those in favour, please say aye. Aye. Against, carried. Uh, so number three, set the fees and charges for 21-22. Uh, Councillor Burt, thank you. And we've got another one, Councillor Piddington, is that a hand? Council Parker, yep, thank you. Um, get you next time, Stu. All those in favour, please say aye. Aye. Against carried. Uh, for now, uh, the financial strategy adoption. I'm happy to move that. Councillor Piddington, happy to second that. Thank you. All those in favour, please say aye. Aye. Against carried. Uh, number five, uh, the adopts the infrastructure strategy. Council Gilchrist, uh, Council Lyon again. Uh, all those in favour, please say aye. Aye. Against carried, thank you. Moving now to item six uh, regarding the unbalanced budget uh, in accordance with section 100 of the LG uh, 2002. Um, and Councillor Parker, and from you, Councillor Burt, thank you. Uh, all those in favour, please say aye. Aye. Against carried, uh, adopts the long term plan, the big one. Yes. Uh, seven, Councillor Gilchrist, a bit excited there. 
<laughs> Councillor <one>. Burt, <laughs> thank you. Uh, all those in favour, please say aye. 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 Against, carried, thank you. Uh, and number eight uh, authorises the CE to make any non material changes to the LTP. Uh, happy to move that. Uh, and Council Lyon, busy here in Wellington, a bit of pressure on. Eh? Uh, all those in favour, please say aye. Aye. Against, mm. carried. Thank you. Um, so we now move now to uh, 3.2, which is setting the rate. Uh, did anyone want to talk to that uh, in brief? Uh, well, really, this is just a consequence of the long-term plan for the coming financial year. So it sets out the uh, the rates that will be levied, uh, and obviously, is a statutory requirement to enable that process to get underway. Perfect. Thank you. And any questions? Sorry, any questions in that regard? No, it looks it looks okay. Sorry. Oh, I was just going to mention, Your Worship, um, the rates. The order is important. We've adopted yes. the long-term plan. Uh, yeah. We do the rates afterwards because that's our funding source, that's all. Yeah, fantastic. That uh, sounds good. Uh, cool. So uh, I'm happy to move. Has, oh, sorry. Yes, and it has had yeah, a legal right. check as well. It has had a legal check as well. Yes, so fantastic. Yep, yep. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I'm happy to move. Uh, so you can do it for that. Councillor Gilchrist. <laughs> just a bit of delay. I think it just must be the, the video feed, a bit of a delay in the chamber there. Uh, so that was Councillor Gilchrist. All those in favour, please say aye. Aye. Against, carried. Uh, and that's it. It's exciting. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks for all the governance and finance team. Sorry, I can't see you uh, as such, but uh, thanks for all the hard work and thanks to John and your team um, for getting us to this point. I uh, really appreciate that. And uh, finally, we're on track to uh, move what I think is a really, really great piece of work in our LTP. Uh, and as far as uh, you know, getting out there and delivering for the community, and I keep saying to a lot of people, there's we're pretty lucky. I think that over the you know many years, uh, you know, have we've, we've been pretty uh, lucky with the uh, success of councils and uh, the, both the governance team and the employees within council because they've set us up to a point whereby. Uh, you know, we're not, we don't have burst pipes in the ground, but we're actually concentrating on, uh, you know, a lot of that hard work's been done and now we're concentrating on some great community infrastructure, that above ground stuff as well. So I think um, successive uh, councils, both staff and governance team have put us into a really good uh, position. So uh, thank you all uh, for your hard work and the governance and finance team uh, can now officially go out and have that long deserved uh, drink. So uh, I'll have one for you as well tonight. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.